Hi everyone and welcome back to another video on the bow trainer. Today we're going to go into a little bit more depth on the technical and pedagogical aspects of using this device. And to start, I think it's best to discuss about tone production on a bow string instrument. So when producing sound on a bow string instrument, it's actually all done with the right arm. Yes, it comes from the instrument itself, but it's what you do in this part that actually produces the tone. So the way it's done is through a combination of a few factors. They are the angle of the head, the weight into the string, the speed, and the contact point. And a lot of students, in fact, probably the majority of students have the most trouble with development of the contact point. And the bow trainer is here to alert and to guide the student visually to develop that particular aspect of their playing. So what makes the contact point so difficult? We'll put up an image now from the player's point of view and you'll see that the viewing angle is askew and it's actually quite hard to tell whether the bow is running parallel with the bridge. Now combining this with a number of other technical aspects such as vibrato, intonation, shifting, it's so many things to think about that for a student it's often the contact point that gets neglected. And so what this device does is it has really bright LEDs. So you don't actually even need to be looking directly at it. You can use your peripheral vision and it'll tell you your contact point and give you real time feedback on what's happening with your bow. One of the great things about this device is that it is suitable and usable for different stages of your musical development. So it can be used initially for something quite rudimentary such as just doing a straight bow which actually is quite technically difficult to do but as you develop as a musician and you develop as a string player you realize that actually you don't always need to do a straight bow you need the ability to do it but sometimes you want to change the contact point to change the type of sound the tonal color to suit what your musical intentions are and so this device helps you to train that, to get used to the different contact points, how they sound, and also how to develop the bow mid-stroke. To play a musical instrument, you're reliant on three senses primarily, your visual, your audio, and your kinesthetic, or your sense of touch. Now, the two most important for musicians are actually the sense of touch, and the audio sense. However, due to a number of factors, including the way we learn nowadays and the society we live in, for most students, visual sense is actually the strongest or the one they're used to using the most. So what we have with this device is it trains and it works on the strong sense, which is the visual sense. And as a teacher or a player, you then have the flexibility approach and style to be able to convert that over to the audio and kinesthetic sense. So we've been uh, trialing and testing this product for some time now and we've been testing it on students of different age groups and different stages in their development and we're finding the results to be really impressive. Uh, not only is there a a significant improvement in how straight the bow is. There is a much higher and elevated level of consciousness from the student on what their bow arm is actually doing. One of the great uh, side effects that we've seen from this device is that the students actively participate in fixing the angle of their bow, which is actually a really great relief for a lot of teachers and parents and students alike. In summary, we think the bow trainer is going to be a very beneficial device for a number of students and teachers. For more information, head to www.firststrings.com.au.